Sun, sand and sevens, the best of the best are back in Dubai for a tournament like no other. It's the women's turn to get back into the action as all 28 teams on the HSBC World 7 Series hit the pitch in Dubai. Our pool's here for this weekend in Dubai. Pool life is a tough one. Australia, USA, Canada, invitational team is China this weekend. France and New Zealand paired up again with Great Britain and Brazil in Pool B and in Pool C. Fiji, Ireland, Spain and Japan welcomed back as a core team on the HSBC. BC World 7 Series this year. Looking for Tapa in space, and that's dangerous. Great individual effort from Naya Tapa. One-on-one -on -one battle. She wins. She goes under the post. Try for USA. Wow, USA. They made that look easy, didn't they? Oh, you can start to see China here that's getting it. really tired Why? now. And that's the result, the hole in the defense. Just arcing around the corner is Dom de Toit. She goes in under the post. Relentless pressure pays off with that gap for her to score for Australia. Offside. U.S. in and possession, three, looking two, for a third try goal. here. Offside advantage, but right through the middle. Great interplay, and Christy Kirsch is going to get the third try for USA. Oh, and it's too easy. Sliding right through the middle is Tia Hands, fresh off the bench. And Canada just a bit disconnected midfield. Tia Hands gets a try for Australia. Oh, the wide ball again. She just had a momentary hesitation. But Madison Levi is going to get her fourth try in this crucial match here in Pool A. Canada, however, with one of their veteran players back in the lineup. It was Wardley who set it up, and Charity Williams just off the shoulder in a good support line. But that's a win for Canada. Quick line out. It was quick thinking from France. Yeah, just a bit of a switch off there from Brazil. And a nice little bit of interplay. Back to Lothos. She had the idea of throwing it in quickly, and she got her just desserts. Oh, nice, brilliantly done from Sheree Kaka. Open up for Williams. Is she going to have enough gas to get to the corner? Niall Williams for the corner. Oh, good effort coming across from Cal. Oh. They're going to have a look. Try given. Just had enough in the tank. The 34-year-old legs to the corner. Niall Williams. What an impact coming off the bench. Here's Miller. All the young ones are out there. This is the 18-year-old Georgia Miller. She's a powerful runner with really good footwork as well. And a big motor, which is just going to be enough to see her to the line. Georgia Miller breaks downfield for her first World Series try. Is that woman Lovos once more? There's the show and the go. And the number seven streaks away for the France sevens. And they look in good form here. Much changed side. Here the cow. Now the experience of Amy Wilson Hardy just takes on the line, ghosts around the outside, and gets another one for GB. Amy Wilson Hardy, such a classy player. I'm good. He's got her flatmate outsider and Michaela Blyde who swerves, somehow keeps her feet and then the Blyde glide away she goes once more. Michaela Blyde to seal the deal for New Zealand. Michaela Blyde, awesome switch back in, but it was like you say, the glide of it, how she can stay on her feet there, completely unbalanced. That core stability kicks in, she stays on her feet and pushes away. For the women, well, Ireland were the vast improvers last year. They were fourth overall, and they had the leading try scorer for the season. 36 last season for Amy Lee Murphy Crow. She gets on the board straight away. Another one of the new faces from Fiji, Eunice Bessie, came up with their final try to seal the deal for the Fijiana and get their win over on pitch two. They are the most improved team in rugby sevens, and they could feature in the medal rounds again here. Get on. In Dubai this weekend. Back onto attack. Mal Hall chips a little in. kick over the top for over. herself to chase. How's the bounce rolling along? Mal Hall's football skills are brilliant. Outstanding from the island captain.
And what else would you expect? Lucy Mulhall, year in, year out, she's involved in absolutely everything. She's the heart and soul of this Irish team. Banach, no one in the channel. Also, she's had a good injection off the bench as well, and now straight up through the middle, Rakena put Spain in front. A bit of a taste of their own medicine there in the offload and support. Good one-on-one -on -one tackles, but just yeah, please, caught them sleeping with their support defence. The white call comes in and they get it. All over chasing from the Fijians. And as she started the game, Eve Higgins is going to do it in the second half. Again, playing with her head up. Great recognition. The Fijian had turned her shoulders, was out of position. So here's how the quarterfinals in the women's draw will line up tomorrow. It'll be the Black Ferns against Great Britain in quarterfinal number one. Then Ireland against the USA on the other side of the draw. The French women will go up against Spain and then is the defending series and Dubai 7's champions Australia who will face, face the Fijiana.